What's happening, YouTube? How are you guys doing today? Welcome on another vlog of Daily Whips. So what we're doing today is we're, we got the 340i right here. We're gonna do doing the oil change on this car, and we're gonna be changing brakes on it. So if you got a three, if you don't have a BMW, you probably you wanna skip this one too. All right, guys. So first thing you wanna do is jack up the car, as always. And the second thing you guys wanna do is loose your lug nuts and take off your tire. I'm gonna do that, and just watch me do. So before we do the brakes, we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the oil change because we're gonna let let it drip because until it'll drip. So we'll just change the brakes because you know we don't want to be waiting on that stuff. If you guys want to lift your car on the jacks and go under the car, it's not safe at all, as you guys know. So what we're gonna do is put the tire under it. So if even if like the jacks drop, it'll still hold the car, you know. So it won't like you know it'll be all over your face. As you guys know, you guys go down there and just open the rain valve and then it'll just drip the oil in this container right here. Then you just put new oil in it that you just got. Alright, the, so the first thing you guys want to do is move the cover from the top of the car. So you see that? Right here, that's the filter, that's where the filter goes. I know my car has a pretty filter like this, like right here in the front, right? But his, his filter goes all the way in the back. So let the oil drip. From the bottom, whenever you're done with the oil dripping, then you just add the oil on the top. That's how you change the oil. That's just a regular car that you guys did it on my car. So we're gonna be using the 32 millimeter socket to take off the filter. All right, then you just use your hand and you just take out the filter like that. Almost like that, almost like that. <laughs> In case you guys didn't know, his car is tuned. You can tell the tune is right on the top. So that's why we changed the oil for his car like after every 5,000 miles. BMW tells you you're supposed to do it after 10,000, but we do it at five, so. And then you just take that shit off like that. Okay, so. It only goes one way. You can't put it in, it won't lock in. Just put it in, twist it, that's it. That's it, and then just stick that shit back in. Then you just add the oil. After you're done putting all the uh, uh, oil in it, then you just tie it up the the cap. Then you just put the cover back on. And that's it, you're good with the oil change for the 340. All right, so we're gonna be changing the brakes now. And he's gonna be explaining you what to do. So you have these two retaining clips right here. So all you wanna take a little punch or just take a little bit right here. Grab the hammer and just tap it up. And then you're gonna grab pliers and then from the back right here, just grab the pliers and just pull them out. And you just pull the pliers out. So he's got one of them out. He's just grab the other one. This one pull. It'll be a little tight. right out there you go and then, then the hard part is getting these pads to go back so what i like to do is just grab a little clamp so i just like to get a little clamp right here and start clamping it back like that and same thing on the top That's just to get the space to get the yeah to get the little caliper. So you see the pads out right right there. Yeah, so that comes the pads out. And then this one has a sensor on it, so just unclip this right here from now. Unclip the sensor. It comes right out. Maybe. Maybe. Well, we can just break it to be honest. It's trash anyways. Just pull that right out, and then just apply a little pressure right here. And then just pull there it right go. out. So now you'll see the pistons are still kind of extended, so grab your old pads again and put them in. 
Rather, it's usually easier to use the same one, same side. So you're gonna put that in right here, and grab your clamp, and just clamp it all the way until it's flush. Then you do it on this side. So you see this is flush enough. So yeah, you can do that side too. Um, it's usually easier to put these pads in first, just so they have something kind of seat up against. So you just slide right in. You might need to just it a bit. That's it. So that's yeah. what you do with the other one too, right? Yep. And all this right. one, all you can do is grab a screwdriver, slowly push them in a bit. Like so. Okay. <laughs> so once you get the pistons back, you just put your pads in. And we'll have to just push it hard. There we go. If they're not going on, just kind of use it to kind of push the pistons back a little bit more. And just slide right in. Then what you can do is take these retaining clips and put one in. I have to adjust the pads a little bit to kind of get through the holes. You just gotta find the holes sometimes, you know? Yeah, sometimes it's hard, you know. So you put that one in, and you're gonna put this little shim and this snake underneath. That clips in right there. And grab your other retaining clip. And the other hole, so you do use both holes. <laughs> you do use both holes. At and then just push this down and push it through sometimes it just takes a little bit of finessing to get it in and that's it that's it you're done right then you just want to move it you just want to make sure they're not dragging or anything See. they're fine so last thing you want to do on this side since you have the sensor is just find the sensor, you're gonna trace it back. And then you just take off the just sensor. Take the sensor off and put the lean one in. Alright. And that's, and that's it. how you change the brake pads on the 340 IBM. We have 30, you guys. And then you just uh, put the tires back on and you're good to go. That's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for wa uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and leave some comments if you guys want to see more videos about my car, like you know how to work on it and how to like do stuff to it.